Kirk Tuckwall here with your Market Monday real estate stats for the Twin Cities area. Well, do you like roller coasters? What do I mean by that? Well, we'll get to that in just a second. But first, make sure you click on that subscribe button. We know that knowledge is power, and the more knowledge that you have about a marketplace, the more that you can leverage the market to your advantage. So let's dive into the data. Again, click on that subscribe button, though, first. Here we go. All right, showings per week per listing ticked back up a little bit. It was at 3.26, now up to 3.47. So that's the average number of showings per week per listing in the median sale price range, 200 to 400K. We're actually tracking again a little bit faster than we were this year. So you go back uh, four or five weeks, we were running faster, then down a little bit, now ticking back up showing that election swing that's the little bit of the roller coaster that i'm talking about there all right pending sales we have seen that start to drop off now it's still tracking at a faster pace than last year but only up by 4.8 percent so if we go back just a few weeks we can see that was up 19.3 and then 20.3 as well so starting to stabilize there a little bit more interest rates so they have made a drop hitting a record low for the 13th time so yeah we keep falling 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 this is great for buyers out there making that housing affordability a little bit better which is going to help that market meter so yeah all-time low interest rates out there making that that ni nice little uh, advantage to the buyers so this should help sellers as well as more buyers uh, may be putting themselves back into the marketplace. However, it may increase competition, so a little harder to uh, get those offers accepted if you have a multiple offer situation, if you have a lot more buyers bidding on properties. I want to step back for a second uh, from the overall market and just talk real quick about the condo market. Uh, Star Tribune came out with an article this week about it being a buyer's market out there in the condo market. And so we can see that inventory for condos. Now, this is very different than townhomes. What we're looking at is total homes for sale. We can see up 44.2% for condos. If I jump that over to townhomes, that's down by 22%. So that's tracking much more in line with the inventories that we're seeing. But the condo market tracking ahead 44%. Now, when we look at how that's affecting sale prices in the condo market, we can see that saying it's down 1.9% on that median sale price. However, if we look at the rolling 12 month, zero, basically unchanged as far as sale prices. So not a huge impact, no bubble burst there. So the condo market though does play in to the overall numbers and the averages. And so how is all of this affecting the market meter with that showing activity? The market meter was at a week ago 6.16. So that's up a little bit from its uh, previous week to that, so three weeks ago. However, it dropped back a little bit as predicted in last week's video out there to just 6.1. So where is this all going? I think, as mentioned last week, we're going to be staying pretty stable out there. These record low interest rates are kind of keeping that market moving along, you know, floating between uh, that stable market into that seller's market range. Hopefully you found this information valuable. We have a class coming up. I'm going to put a link below to that online home buyer class. If you know anybody who is looking at maybe getting into the market, check out that class. It is free. It is online. It's going to be December 2nd at 630. You can register uh, within this link. Hope everybody has a great week. Click on that subscribe button. Take care. Be safe.